I envision Jose Dolores Lopez going through emotions uh, you know, while doing his work, maybe frustration, maybe excitement, and kind of thinking about the gratitude he may have felt during the end result of his work. My name is Mariana Salem. I'm Assistant Director of Special Programming and Events here at the Museum of Modern Art. And the work I'm gonna talk about today is from Jose Dolores Lopez, Adam, Eve, and the Serpent. The work itself is a depiction of the story of Adam and Eve. And what you see here is Eve reaching to the tree of knowledge on one hand, and on the other hand, you can see Adam reaching for the apple, which sort of originates the whole notion of original sin. The sculpture itself is made out of wood, and it is a very three-dimensional piece where you see the tree with etchings within the leaves, you have apples, you have a serpent that is wrapped around the branch of this wooden tree. And if you look really closely, you'll see the devil within the tree, which represents evil. So I guess as they say, you know, the devil really is in the details. Jose Dolores Lopez was a multi-hyphenate. He was a farmer, he was a carpenter, a jewelry maker, and he was very much influenced by his religious upbringing. He was a devout Catholic, and also his work was inspired by uh, the neighboring state of Mexico. He was from New Mexico, and a lot of the works that were imported from Mexico were these very ornate, painted over biblical figures. Without the paint over this work, you really see the raw details. I look at this and it sort of has a very folkloric feel to it. I myself am Mexican-American and I remember visiting family or going to Mexico and seeing these works again, depicting these biblical characters and how much religion played a role in Mexican culture. Today we're in a gallery in the fifth floor Dolores Lopez's work is amongst other artists that were considered self-taught and outsiders in their field. And it's very apparent here that, you know, he probably didn't really require much other than wood, a few tools to make this work of art that I think is very much in line with other important artists of our time.